What did the mushroom say when they wouldn't let him into the party? Why not? I'm a fun guy. <laughs> I decided to come to AM largely because my sister was here. Also, Texas AM has excellent research programs, so I knew I'd had great opportunities here for that. When I came to college, I didn't realize how amazing the opportunities would be, and I found it was really actually pretty easy to get into a lab. Um, I was able to get into the Beckman Scholars Program. I've been able to get into the University Scholars Program as well. The Beckman Scholar Program is one for undergraduates who are interested in research. Um, AM is one of the few schools that actually gets to have people apply for the program. So once you're in the program, you complete like a full-time summer research, which is over 400 hours. Uh, then you do part-time semester, another full-time of summer and one more in semester research for another year. So I work in a lab that studies um, specifically circadian rhythms. So I'm looking to see if like the circadian clock regulates the protein composition. So if maybe at different times of day, ribosomes have different proteins associated with them and then they do their job a little bit differently. So ribosomes are parts of the cell that are responsible for turning um, mRNAs into proteins. So basically it takes the information from DNA and then it turns it into a protein that can you know, do things in the cell and help us live our lives. At different times of day, ribosomes have different proteins associated with them and then they do their job a little bit differently. So that maybe throughout different times of the day, proteins can be expressed differently. My research has been heavily influenced by the people I work alongside because it, I found it's really important to like have connections at different levels, not just undergrads, not just grads, but have connections with like everyone in science. Um, in my new lab as well, they're all great. They're so patient with me when I make mistakes. It's definitely a big commitment to work in a lab. I think a lot of the labs here on campus have a 15 hour minimum. Uh, so time is definitely something you need to have a lot of before you go into research. In addition to time, you need to dedicate a little bit of headspace to it, if that makes sense, because you can't just go into the lab, do some things, get out, and then go back to working on homework. You have to think about what you're doing a lot, which is one of the harder things to learn about research, I think. The hardest thing I think about research in general, and particularly in my project, is when you have something that takes months to do, and you're not gonna know if it actually worked for a very long time. A lot of days when I get into the lab, especially when it's in a rut, when I know that I probably won't get good results, it takes a lot of patience and willpower to go in there and to try to do things well, but then the rewarding days make up for it in full. I guess it's just important to know that you should never underestimate yourself. That's something I think I do a lot. And then I look back and say, you know, what, why were you thinking that? You can do this, you can handle this. So just have more faith in yourself than you think you deserve. I'm Rachel and this is my Aggie story.